Eric Tov covering you. My name is Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. You have breaking news. Just came out on Reuters here seven minutes ago. Uh, Trump accepts U.S. intelligence on Russian hacking. Top aide says that is not good news and it is not going to be good news with the relationship with Russia after this here. I can just imagine uh, more sanctions, if not possibly war. And it really makes me wonder what's really been going on. So much talk about he never believed that Russia was involved in it, but the closer he gets to taking the office of the U.S. presidency, it looks like he's ready to engage in whatever Barack Obama may have had in mind for Russia all along. Uh, let's take a look at the article here. President-elect Donald Trump accepts U.S. intelligence community's conclusion that Russia engaged in cyber attacks affecting the U.S. presidential election and may take action in response um, in, uh, his incoming chief of staff said on Sunday. Now, that's what's really strange. If President-elect Donald Trump believes in, in sincerity that Russia was involved in the U.S. presidential election and the hacking that was done there and that it affected the outcome of the election, will then President Barack Hussein Obama have the ability to stop him entering into the office? And, of course, it's saying here that he may take action uh, uh, in response. Is that going to be as heavily as what, no doubt, uh, 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 former candidate uh, Hillary Clinton would have done? And that would have been an all-out war. The odd thing is, is there's such a mass move of troops and equipment into Europe that one cannot help but wonder if there's not a war on the horizon. Uh, especially before Obama leaves office. And now that President-elect Donald Trump is admitting that the intelligence is accurate, makes me wonder, was it planned all along? Is he going along with it? Has he been coerced into it? Has he been, or what is the case? Or is it just politics as usual? Goes on to say here that Rennes uh, Previa said Trump believes Russia was behind the intrusions into the Democratic Party organization, though he did not clarify whether the president-elect agreed that the hacks were directed by the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. He accepts the fact that the particular case was entities in Russia, so that not the, not, that's not the issue, previous said on Fox News Sunday. Previous comments marked a significant shift away from the repeated dismissals by Trump of the Russian interference in the presidential election. The Republican president-elect was rebuffed claims that Russia was behind the hacks or was trying to help him win, saying the intrusions could have been carried out by China or 400-pound uh, hacker on his bed. But the thing is, here's what's really troubling about this, no matter which way you look at it, all right? And that is, going back to what was, I believe, on RT News the other day, it was never uh, Russia, even if it was Russia, the hack, the, e the, the DNC, they didn't write all the emails. The emails themselves are incriminating evidence against the, the DNC. And no doubt if the Republicans were hacked, you'd probably find a lot of incriminating evidence there as well. So either which way, it's still incriminating. Now, whether or not it was really Russia or not still remains to be seen because according to Julian Assange, the head of the WikiLeaks program to begin with, he states that Russia was not the one that was doing the leaking the information in the first place. So... What's the real story behind it? And really, what's it going to mean between Russia and the United States? Is it going to spiral out of control? I certainly hope it doesn't. But so much for my thought that uh, Trump would be the guy that would help prevent a war with Russia. He now may very, very, may very well be right up front as a front contender to bring about the aggression as well. Very concerning as well. North Korea. Another story that broke here just a moment ago, North Korea's missile testing serious threat 
to U.S. defense, according to Ash Carter, the, uh, the uh, Secretary of Defense there. And he is stating that, he, that the United States, if, if, if North Korea launches a nuclear ballistic missile in the direction of the U.S. or any of its allies, the U.S. will shoot the missile down. That is the latest threat by the U.S. government on North Korea. Can't blame them on that. I understand it is a major threat for North Korea to be firing these types of missiles. But it also looks like the U.S. has been looking for a reason to engage in a war with North Korea. May that, may, may who knows, maybe it'll happen in the next uh, week or so here. That would be interesting to see, no doubt. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You've been watching Israeli News Live. Stay tuned for yet another broadcast this evening. Shalom.